Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. It is lunchtime. We don't usually ever finish school until pretty close to lunchtime. We're just down to feed. We have some errands and then I have so much fun to do today. Ever since I discovered this new kind of training, life has been so different and happy for me. What's happening? Yeah, we got a new black cat. Where is he? Oh. And he's not ours. There's Ollie and then the black cat. So they're both up there. So maybe the, the that one's a girl, do you think? I don't know because Ollie kept meowing. And well, he sounded mad. So the thing is, Ollie's neutered. He sounded mad like he was going to kill So anyways, there's a cat. There it is. That's our new cat. Somehow we inherited him in our barn. That one's Ollie. Where's Ollie? The one that you're videoing. Oh, where's the black one? He went farther back oh so they're both up there mm -hmm. and they're getting to know one another i don't know i'm happy ollie has friends he has yeah, a friend too. even though cats like to be alone i feel like i feel like farm life is lonely where are you going um yeah where am i going oh i just wanted to make sure that the cat food is full because if he's a stray and he's hungry i want to make sure that he has as much food as he needs okay i fed the kitties <laughs> we have kitties now I honestly don't know where that cat belongs. He probably has a home, but we're his second home. And that's okay. Uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but we didn't vlog yesterday. I started the vlog. We went to Sophie and Emma's riding lessons. Uh, the footing wasn't perfect yet though. Like we're still riding, they're still riding in winter. So footing wasn't great. So they didn't do much. So we didn't video it. Sophie didn't wear the, wear the thing, but she'll wear it again. I did talk to her new coach. You guys know that she's going to a Western bar. She's gonna be doing poles and uh, showmanship and and barrel racing, but she said that like, Sophie wants to try barrels, but she said that she doesn't just throw kids into barrels ever. She said they have to work on like a lot of other things first, like balance and and um, something else. I don't know, all this Western talk, but she likes to build a strong foundation before she throws them into barrels. So it's gonna be like a whole lot of a lot of things. She said that she teaches them so many different things that they can go in any direction when they're ready to go in any direction. So it's a super exciting, I'm excited, it sounded amazing. She does trail at her house. She has a field full of trail stuff. And if you guys don't know what trail is, you probably do because you're all horse people. Um, it's like what I want to do with Penny, how you like, anyway, it's stuff that I want to do with Penny. She said you have to have a really good horse to like really get into trail competitively. I don't want to do it like super competitively. I just want to do like some fun little shows and stuff. But anyway, showmanship. I also asked her about, um, I don't know, but I, I can't remember. But anyways, we could probably do some shows with the minis this summer. Um, lots, so many opportunities, so many different things. Don't know Gabby's plan yet. Like I don't know what we're doing with Gabby this summer uh, as far as showing and uh, that kind of stuff. Some I saw some people asking like, what the heck about Chino? Chino's home now, he's not being boarded. It was a choice that we decided on as a family to bring him home um, where we could just stay on top of him. So since we have to drive him in all the time, we're waiting, Gabby wants to wait until the outdoor arena opens because she doesn't like riding in the indoor footing with him and she doesn't like how small the indoor is for him. She finds it difficult for him and difficult on him. So that's all we're waiting for for Chino to get him back into business is for the outdoor arena to open at our barn and then we'll be driving in regularly for lessons and for rides and stuff. We decided we're gonna keep him home. Like we wanna keep him home. I don't know how long we'll keep him home, but for now it just feels like it's the right thing to do. So there you have it. Life update for us with our riding. Um, and I'll let you guys know the minute anything changes. Wait, aw, look at these. Ellie would just love that. So this is what I'm here for. I wanna see if they have like a grooming thing that would work for Ellie. Look at, there's a pet massaging shower head. I need that, it's only 12.49. I think I'm gonna get that. I really wanna get into grooming Ellie and I'll explain about it. So I'm gonna look at all of these groomers and see which one's better and it looks like walmart has better shampoo maybe not necessarily like better brands wow it's cheap mm -hmm. um but they have like the ones that i was looking for like breed specific extra gentle 
Okay, I'm gonna show you the clippers that I got. Oops. She's already scared of them. <laughs> and I also got jam. <laughs> okay, so these are the ones. Every other pair was cordless. She's not afraid of them. <laughs> Every other pair was cordless and I don't want cordless because I hate the whole charging situation. Like I don't find battery operated things last as long and I, I hate to like start a job and then run out of battery. Like I just, it's not my favorite thing. So this is what it looks like. It's heavy duty. It's small, but maybe not small enough for her. I maybe should have went smaller. They had like some really tiny ones, but again, I wanted something heavy duty that was going to last me. And then the blade, the guide things here, they're made out of steel and they are sharp as heck. So I could even do Ruby. I'm excited to like learn to groom her. I've been already grooming her just slowly. I want to preserve what she is now. Like I like how she looks now. I think she's adorable. Excuse me. That's my box. Don't bite my box. Don't look at them. Look at me. Sit. <laughs> She's frozen. Ellie, sit. Sit. God. <laughs> Good girl. Good girl. So anyways, I don't like the... So I have a very distinctive look about Yorkies that I want her to look like. And I don't like the Yorkies with all the facial hair. I'll put some pictures in here to show you. Like the look that I don't like and then the look that I do like. So I want her to be like a completely shaved body. And then have like lots of hair in her head and then lots of hair in her legs. That's my favorite look. I'm going to put, put a couple of pictures here so you guys can see. Ellie, Ellie, come. Sit. <coughs> Sit. Good girl. Good girl. Will you shake a paw? Shake a paw. Paw. <laughs> She's so confused. Where's my treat? <laughs> so I've been working on paw, but what we really need to work on is stay. Sit. Sit. Ellie, you always listen. Sit. Okay, so <laughs> sit. No, stay. Stay. No. <laughs> Ellie, you're making me look bad. Sit. Good girl. <laughs> Wanted to give it to her before she jumped up. That's why clicker training would be so good for her. But anyways, I wanted you guys to see her face, how I've been like slowly trimming her face so that she just has like that little circle around her mouth. And then I'm going to try and get rid of like all the neck stuff. And I want her to look a very specific way. The problem is Ellie hates scissors. I think they remind her of getting her nails clipped when she's gotten shots in the past and she is terrified of them. So I've been working on desensitizing her to them and it's not going great, but I am starting to notice a bit of a change. <coughs> Ellie, come, come on. <laughs> Where were you? Anyways, I'm still her favorite person. She sleeps with me every night. Learned to go all the way up the stairs today and then she learned to come all the way down the stairs today. So uh, it's been fun. She listens really well. She comes really well when I call her. I brush her about three or four times a day just because I enjoy it. I love little dogs with hair, like especially longer hair and straight hair. Uh, when my kids were little, I used to love doing their hair. I used to do their hair every single day. It was something that we did together. She used to be terrified of the comb. I use like a little comb, if I can see where it is. I use a little comb to brush her and she used to be terrified of that too and now she's so relaxed. They do it often when she's sleeping and she's learned to become really relaxed with the comb. She doesn't mind the comb. So that is my goal, my hope for the future with grooming her because holy heck she is a wild thing if I even bring the scissors near her. A little bit better today so I see us going forward but man I don't know how the clippers and how that grooming process is going to be but we're going to try it. Somehow I ended up in the back seat of the car truck with one daughter driving another daughter stealing whoa slow down holy moly all right so it's past lunch time do you guys remember back when i used to say like we don't work with our horses until after lunch because they're always so much more agreeable after they've had lunch well that's a part of oh, hi, kid. is it there it's ollie oh that's a part of um, training, positive reinforcement training. That's a big, huge part of it. Can't believe how dried out and cold everything is getting. That pony will do anything for treats. Haven't done a lot of training with the mini yet with the baby, but we will be training her positive reinforcement. Also, you guys should know that 
She hasn't had any more sticky stifle issues at all. Our vet thinks that she's gonna grow out of it and I think that she will. Our vet is coming soon to do an exam. Looks a little bit uh, peg leg still, just a tiny bit. So much better though, she's doing so much better. I'm so proud of her. Well, hello, Penny, everybody's coming. They're like, what are we doing today? <laughs> she's pushing it down. <laughs> so I have three things that I want to do in positive reinforcement training with our mares. Three different activities and come on outside. I decided that I want to do them, come on, I want to do them one each day instead of like trying, instead of like three things all in one vlog, I want to do one each day and so we're doing one for each of our three mares. Gracie's day today, we decided we're going to do Gracie today. So for today's activity, it's going to be Gracie and Gabby and the idea, each day will be a completely different different unrelated activity and I tried to pick them for what each horse is good at but you know how I said target the other day we taught our horses target well we're gonna try and our horses already know target we're gonna try I'm gonna try and send her to the jump Gracie touch the target touch the target good girl good girl all right so okay so we have never taught her how to do this but I'm gonna send her, go Gracie, go! Target, target! I'm gonna, yeah, good girl! I'm gonna click as she, as she goes over the jump. So that was really good. Send her back to me, Gabby. Come on, Gracie, come on! Send her, say target, target, target. come on, come on! So we've been working on it. So the idea is that we can send her over the jump and get her to free jump, knowing that the clicker means she's done what we want her to do by going over the jump, and then at the other end, she'll get her reward. This is our clicker and I want to get some other ones. I don't really like it. You can do it like louder or, or lower. Yeah, lower or louder. Um, I want to get all of us a bunch of clickers so that we have a bunch in the barn. And I also think I'm going to train my puppy to a clicker. I really like this kind of stuff. Like I'm enjoying it so much. A lot of the things that we do, we need to like keep on practicing. So I'm definitely going to keep on practicing with this because I want to be able to send them and make them free jump without using any crops or without using lead ropes or halter. My horse is over there doing her thing. <laughs> Target. To touch the target. She's, I have a good, good girl. Yeah. You're my princess. Tomorrow I'll be down and we're going to do uh, so much fun stuff. The thing that I have planned for Penny is more in her line of expertise and we're going to do it tomorrow. Come on, little princess. She's like, I need help. Ellie went upstairs, took my slipper. She must Better have been missing for me. Uh, room. She must have missed me and she got my slipper. My slipper is as big as her and she tried to carry it down the <laughs> stairs. She made it. She's like, will somebody carry me now, please? Hi. Ellie. So she often goes up the stairs and then she looks to see where I am by putting her hand through there. Don't you know that you're beautiful? 